Welcome to the Vipera VR, and this is Virtual Reality Jurassic Encyclopedia series. We hope that you are going to enjoy the episode. Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Tyrannosaurus. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. Tyrannosaurus is a genus of a theropod dinosaur. It is one of the best represented dinosaur of large theropods. It lived in the Upper Cretaceous period, about 68 to 66 million years ago. It was the last known member of the Tyrannosaurides and among the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Specimens of Tyrannosaurus rex include some that are nearly complete skeletons. Soft tissue and proteins have been reported in at least one of these specimens. The abundance of fossil material has allowed significant research into many aspects of its biology, including its life history and biomechanics. Like other Tyrannosaurides, Tyrannosaurus was a bipedal carnivore with a massive skull balanced by a long, heavy tail. Relative to its large and powerful hind limbs, the forelimbs of Tyrannosaurus were short but unusually powerful for their size, and they had two clawed digits. The most complete specimen measures up to 12.3 meters in length, though T. rex could grow to lengths of over 12.3 meters, up to 3.96 meters tall at the hips, and according to most modern estimates 6 metric tons to 8 metric tons in weight. That means T. rex was as long as two elephants, and as heavy as 10 adult cows. Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded Tyrannosaurus rex in size, it is still among the largest known land predators and is estimated to have exerted the strongest bite force among all terrestrial animals. By far the largest carnivore in its environment, Tyrannosaurus rex was most likely an apex predator, preying upon hadrosaurs, juvenile armored herbivores like ceratopsians and ankylosaurs, and possibly sauropods. Some experts have suggested the dinosaur was primarily a scavenger. The question of whether Tyrannosaurus was an apex predator or a pure scavenger was among the longest debates in paleontology. Most paleontologists today accept that Tyrannosaurus was both an active predator and a scavenger. First, Tyrannosaurus fossils were found in 1874 near Golden in Colorado, United States. Another fossils were found in 1890s near eastern Wyoming. Both of those fossils were at first misassigned to belong to Deinodon, but now are considered T. rex remains. In 1900 first partial skeleton of T. rex was found in eastern Wyoming. In 1902 another partial skeleton was found in Hell Creek Formation in Montana, compromising approximately 34 fossilized bones. Beginning in the 1960s there was renewed interest in Tyrannosaurus, resulting in the recovery of 42 skeletons, ranging from 5% to 60% complete by bone count. In 1990 the most complete, about 85% of bones, and largest skeleton of Tyrannosaurus was discovered in Hell Creek Formation, and was nicknamed Sue, after the discoverer. In 1992 seconds most complete skeleton, with 199 bones recovered representing 70% of the total skeleton. This Tyrannosaur also had many bone pathologies, including broken and healed ribs, a broken and healed neck, and a substantial hole in the back of its head, about the size of a Tyrannosaurus tooth. In the summer of 2000, crews organized by Jack Horner discovered five Tyrannosaurus skeletons near the Fort Peck Reservoir. In 2001, 
A 50% complete skeleton of a juvenile Tyrannosaurus was discovered in the Hell Creek formation by a crew from the Burpee Museum of Natural History. The discovery of feathered dinosaurs led to debate regarding whether, and to what extent, Tyrannosaurus might have been feathered. Filamentous structures, which are commonly recognized as the precursors of feathers, have been reported in the small-bodied, basal Tyrannosauroid Delongperidoxus from the early cretaceous yixian formation of China in 2004. Because integumentary impressions of larger Tyrannosauroids known at that time showed evidence of scales, the researchers who studied Delong speculated that insulating feathers might have been lost by larger species due to their smaller surface-to-volume ratio. The subsequent discovery of the giant species Euteranius huali, also from the Yixian, showed that even some large Tyrannosauroids had feathers covering much of their bodies, casting doubt on the hypothesis that they were a size-related feature. A 2017 study reviewed known skin impressions of Tyrannosaurides, including those of a Tyrannosaurus specimen nicknamed Wyrex which preserves patches of mosaic scales on the tail, hip, and neck. The study concluded that feather covering of large Tyrannosaurides, such as Tyrannosaurus was, if present, limited to the upper side of the trunk. Scientists have produced a wide range of possible maximum running speeds for Tyrannosaurus, mostly around 9 meters per second, which is 32 kilometers per hour, or 20 miles per hour, but as low as 4.5 to 6.8 meters per second, which is 16 to 24 kilometers per hour, or 10 to 15 miles per hour, and as high as 20 meters per second which is 72 kilometers per hour, or 45 miles per hour, though it running at this speed is very unlikely. Tyrannosaurus was a bulky and heavy carnivore so it is unlikely to run very fast at all compared to other theropods like Carnotaurus that had a top speed of up to 48 to 56 km per hour, or 30 to 35 miles per hour. However some scientists speculate whether Tyrannosaurus run at all, because it's possible that Tyrannosaurus could exhaust its energy reserves before reaching any significant speed. A study found that Tyrannosaurus shared the heightened sensory abilities of other coelurosaurs, highlighting relatively rapid and coordinated eye and head movements, an enhanced ability to sense low-frequency sounds which would allow Tyrannosaurus to track prey movements from long distances, and an enhanced sense of smell. It's also possible that Tyrannosaurus had a keen vision. By applying modified perimetry to facial reconstructions of several dinosaurs including Tyrannosaurus, the study found that Tyrannosaurus had a binocular range of 55 degrees, surpassing that of modern hawks. High depth perception may have been due to the prey it was hunting and their possibly complex social behaviors, enabling T-Rex to get in, get that blow in add and take it down. Tyrannosaurus also had heightened sense of smell due to very large olfactory bulbs and olfactory nerves relative to their brain size. The sense of smell in Tyrannosaurs may have been comparable to modern vultures, which use scent to track carcasses for scavenging. Research on the olfactory bulbs has shown that T. rex had the most highly developed sense of smell of 21 sampled non-avian dinosaur species. Some scientists suggest that Tyrannosaurus might have been pack hunter, by comparing it to related species, citing fossil evidence that may indicate group behavior. A find in South Dakota where three T. rex skeletons were in close proximity may suggest the formation of a pack. Cooperative pack hunting may have been an effective strategy for subduing prey with advanced anti-predator adaptations which pose potential lethality such as Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. Additional support of Tyrannosaurid gregariousness can be found in fossilized trackways from the Upper Cretaceous Wapiti Formation of northeastern British Columbia, Canada, left by three Tyrannosaurides traveling in the same direction. According to scientists assessing the Dino Gang's program, the evidence for pack hunting in Tarbosaurus and Albertosaurus is weak and based on group skeletal remains for which alternate explanations may apply. Others researchers have speculated that instead of large theropod social groups, some of these finds represent behavior more akin to Komodo dragon-like mobbing of carcasses, even going as far as to say true pack hunting behavior may not exist in any non-avian dinosaurs due to its rarity in modern predators.